the size of the egg of the ostrich is 170 mm into 130 mm. Not only there is a difference in the cell size or cell number, even the complexity of a cell is different. And the cells are categorized as prokaryotic cells. Pro means simple or primitive and karyotic is nucleus. So, cells with simple nucleus are called prokaryotic. Simple nucleus means there is no nuclear membrane. I will come to that. There is no membrane around the nucleus and other parts of the cell components. While in the case of eukaryotic cells, there is a proper nucleus with a cell membrane. So, for this level, for your level, this much is enough that there can be two type of cells prokaryotic and eukaryotic blue green algae and bacteria have prokaryotic cells while human beings and other living beings have eukaryotic cells have you ever seen cells you can see them it's not difficult if you have a microscope at home or in your lab what you can take do is you can take an onion with the help of a forceps remove the inner lining of the onion, it is very easy, it can come out easily. Then cut it into a rectangular piece like this. Clean a slide, put it on that, first put some drops of water, put this membrane on that and cover it with a cover slip. Your slide will look somewhat like this. This is a glass slide. If this is the membrane, this will be the cover slip. Cover slip can be square or it can be rounded. So, when you see this structure under the microscope, you will find a structure like this. There are rectangular cells. Inside every cell, there is a nucleus. But you can also see these lines, the demarcating lines which give shape to the cell. What are that? They are the cell membranes. See every cell is made up of a covering, the outer covering which is called cell membrane. It is made up of protein and fat. Its function is to give shape and protection. And also to demarcate it from other cells. Now inside the cell membrane, there is a jelly like substance called protoplasm. This protoplasm is again in two parts. The cytoplasm and the nucleus. Between the two, nucleus is more dense and this is jelly like. The cytoplasm is not a homogeneous mass of jelly like substance. There are subcellular parts also which are called cell organelles. So, now what we need to study is about cell organelles and the nucleus.